I am Lothio, priestess of Freya. Freya is the only goddess known to stand with one foot on each of two continents. One foot in the icy realms of Scandinavia, the other in the temperate to tropical to desert realms of Mother Africa, often credited with being both the birthplace and the cradle of human civilization. France is natural as the domain of my goddess, for she is queen of the Rova, the prophetess who prophesies in her name, wearing gloves of cat skin, cap and boots of cat skin as well. Her hall of Folkvang has many cat companions, and also is she associated with the hunting falcon. She can change from human to cat to falcon at will, but to take falcon form takes donning the falcon dress, the skin and feathers of an ancient giant, large enough to fit human or god. Wearing same, she has cat vision, and unlike the natural bird, can hunt in darkness. Hear my lady call you from the fullness of moonlight. Hear my lady's voice as it reaches out to you. Feel my lady's will as I bear it in her name. Enveloping you, surrounding you. Enticing you, for not only is she goddess of the moon, she is also a goddess of love and of war. Queen of the Valkyr, juicers of the flame, ride with the Valkyries, look down on the earth, see battles being fought. Sister maiden's choosing when one falls, whether he be worthy to mount with her up to Asgard, there to dine at the table of Odin, Val father of the universe, king of the Einherjar, the heroic warriors. Who assist the last battle. Without the Einherjar, Ragnarok would be lost to the giants of fire and of ice. Are you brave enough to join that cadre? Are you sensitive enough to answer her call? To ride with the winged, to be forever immortal until that last day and that final battle. Freya calls to you. Will you answer as I, her priestess, display her power? I leave you briefly but shall return, more likely when you least expect it. When you hear me, your mind will know me and respond.
Good night. Come in.